everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Life with Nicole Marie and Gary. Thank you guys so much for joining us for another Saturday Bison football game. Uh, let me get to the comments here. <laughs> Hello, Terry. Welcome to the live. Thank you so much for supporting us and being here. Hello, brother. How are you doing? Hello, Red. Welcome to the live. For those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. And for everyone that keeps coming back, thank you guys so much. Right now, it's not on yet. I go live about 15 minutes early. I'm even a little bit earlier right now because I'm in the middle of making French dips. So I'm in the kitchen and I'm trying to get these plates ready. So when 2.30 hits, we are out there, okay? So a little bit of the rules going over the live. I cannot zoom in. I will have the device turned towards the television so we watch it together that's solely the reason why we go live um this is not a direct broadcast i have pinned that um to the top i hope you all have read that as well as read the description box um number two i cannot turn the volume up all the way or anything like that me and my husband i'm nicole marie gary's out in the living room but he um we both will be your commentators and your announcers we will go ahead we have another television going on and that will of course um be what we're going to translate back to you guys we will repeat i should say uh let me see what else oh yes please be respectful in the comment section do not um harass one another in the comment section do not try to put links in the comment section otherwise you will be blocked and kicked right on out of here and we don't want to do that we want to welcome everybody uh that our fans friends family um employees of ndsu bison we are former employees as well um, and love to watch and support the bison with watching the game with you guys and um i'm sure there will be some leather necks in here so, uh, of course, again, please be respectful and let's have a good game, you guys. I want everybody to get along. Um, you want to throw around some smack to each other, that's fine. But if it gets too bad, I will kick you right on out. And I don't want to do that. So I want everybody to be able, I know that not everybody from Western Illinois is able to make it up here. I'm sure it will be televised in their region. Uh, but if not... They're always welcome to join in and watch with us. I always love meeting new people. We've gained a lot of, of subscribers in the past from other teams coming here, watching the game and enjoying the game with us. Uh, so yeah, I hope you all are having a wonderful Saturday. Right now I'm sauteing my peppers and onions to go on to the French dip. Um, and the, the roast beef is done and the au jus is done. I'm just waiting on my homemade potato wedgies and I'm waiting on um, the peppers and onions. So currently there is a game going on, but not the Bison game. They will have kickoff here at the Fargo Dome approximately. I think they will start broadcasting in about five, 10 minutes, about quarter after, about 20 after. So we got a few minutes left. Um, I'll try not to ha miss anything. If I have to walk away from it, I will to, to finish making the meal. I don't think that we'll get ding today. Um, I've been doing pretty good with that not happening, of course, because this channel is not monetized, you guys. We go live together and watch the game to enjoy the games with you. We do YouTube solely as a hobby currently. So we are not monetized. We do not get any proceeds for being live. This is all just us genuinely just being here with you all. That's it. That's all. <laughs> so welcome. Welcome to my humble abode. Um, yeah, so the game that's on right now, is that volume on there? No, it's on in there. So who's playing? Oklahoma Sooners against UCF. So here's Gary. 24 to 23. It's 24 to 23. What is it? The Oklahoma Sooners. I have people, I have you on there. On UCF. So Oklahoma's 24 to 23 UCF. 
that's the score if you guys are currently wondering what the score is. I just had you on there. You want to say hi to the people? I did say hi. You did not. You were busy yapping. <laughs> Kim's a yapper. Yeah. Oh, I didn't share myself. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I shared myself out. All right. The peppers are done. Let's get the rest of these French dips made up, y'all. Leave a comment in the comment section. Like. Again, just be courteous of one another. I just don't want a bunch of fighting in the comment section. That's why I do what I do. Because there's no reason for it. Or I get I get the games. I've been doing this for quite a few years. So just to let everybody know, I know it can get heated. I will even probably use a few heated words. Um, been known to do that. Don't intend to. But... Our bison have been uh, <laughs> they've been disappointing me lately. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Anyways, I'm gonna get his aju out here. You. So yeah, grab your favorite snacks, your favorite drinks, whatever it is you like. Oh, I ran out of room. That is not lovely. So here's me trying to run around. Is it on there yet? You guys are going to have to watch. Tell me when it's kickoff and they're entering the Fargo Dome. They're running out from the locker room? No, they're introducing. Oh, oh that's right. what I'm wanting to let me know when they come out because I'm trying to get these sandwiches. Okay. I feel like a woman's work. My work is never done, y'all. I try my hardest. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. And also Dom, Dom, D-O-M, Izzo, he had a lot of, he's always got something to say. He's done, tick this one off. He's done tick me off, y'all. So, yep, they're going to head to the sideline just a moment. So, we'll, I'm going to take you guys out there just a second. Ain't doing nothing except Dom Izzo running his big mouth. I don't know about y'all, but I don't really care for that guy. He's always got a big mouth. Big mouth. Big mouth Dom. Ugh. Here's me trying, because I'm using my air fryer, y'all. Just to melt this cheese. Cam Miller's hometown, huh? All right. I know you guys are here for it, so what I'm going to do. I was trying to beat the clock. Hey, Terry. Welcome. It's late in the afternoon. Usually I have a lot of this done already. It's going to be good. It's going to be all right. Gary's holding post for us so when they come out there, I can hurry and run out there with y'all. 
then just leave it out there while I tend to the meal. I think it'll be fine that I do that. I haven't, like I said, had too many issues. I could see if I was making money. I'm not making any money, so shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so he's talking about kickoff will be when they come back. So let me go ahead and pop this in there. Hate these air fries. I wish I wish it could think as fast as I want it to. So we're gonna head out there right quick. I think five minutes is too long. I think five minutes is too long. That's all right. Try to get some of this put up because you know I don't want my food sitting out for too long. But like I said, I'm gonna be right out there in a few minutes. do not handle well yeah y'all be stuck out there without me well my husband will be there i'm just trying to get these sandwiches the cheese melted and it's commercial so we're good And my taters are done. I hurry it, get out there. So I want to watch that kickoff. Then I can come out and get this food. Hunter left you there. No shit. The tree lags. Woo! Hunter Lemke and uh Tree Lance. Trey Lance are there, y'all. Woo woo! All right. Here they come. Let's do this thing together, y'all. Sorry if I ain't getting to your comments. Welcome, Terry. Welcome to the live. I just gotta switch over. I just gotta switch it over on my other device. Make sure I got my volume down. All right, y'all. Not yet. I gotta check that thing. All right. The French dips are done. The all I gotta do is serve it up. But I wanna watch this. Forty-nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, for three, for two, forty-one. Let's go, Bison. Here we go, ACDC, Thunderstruck, yes, baby. Let's go, Bison. Woo! Yes, ma'am, yes, sir, I got the goosey bumps already. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, Bison! Woo! Thunderstruck, baby. Daddy, it's. Come on, Matt. Get them all pumped up and ready. I want to know. This man has been through it for the last couple of weeks. Let's go, boys. I got faith in you. I got faith in y'all. There they go. Woo, Bison! That's what I'm talking about, baby. All that green and gold. Got our jerseys on. Gary's got his jersey on. I got my jersey on. 
Woo! Right on. Horns up, y'all. Horns up. Y'all, it's going to be a good game. We're going to grab us a quick prayer. We are a proud football uh, Dom is always saying we are a proud football program. Yeah, yes, we are a proud football program, but last week we got handed it to us. So th this is not going to happen. No, Dad, welcome to the live. Go Bison. Yes, let's win. I was very, very upset last week. <laughs> All right. It's commercial. I'm going to go get hubby's plate. It's commercial. So I can't have it in there anyway. All right. Tell me when we're back. Man. We are? Nope. See, that's the, the French dip. Ah, uh, I gave him his aju. Give him a fork and a knife for just in case. Do you want any ketchup or anything? No. No, don't mind. Wedgies in now. Once they come on, guys, I'll leave you there while I handle my plate. But I can't have you. Oh, I got to give Gary his meds. Okay, hold on a second. There you go. Bear with me. Still commercial, y'all. They hurry the heck up. I could put it on there. We're ready to come back. Okay, we're back. Here we go. Here we go. I'll stay right here with you. Oh, I don't like her at all either. She's got a pair of lips. Oh, <laughs> Did you want more aju than that? Oh, no, that's good enough. Okay. Because what I, I'm going to try to clean up while the game is on. Y'all, I think we'll be fine. Coverage Washington State at Oregon can be seen on the WDA Extra Channel. If you're, that's what you want to do. And also this is on ESPN Plus for those that may be tuning in from Western Illinois. If you have ESPN Plus, I don't know if it's broadcasting in your area. Here we go, coin toss. Let's have a good game. No fighting. Last week we were fighting a little bit. Here we go. See, I love the handshake. I love that handshake. See, see, uh, Miller's such a good guy. He's like, hey, Mr. Quarterback, hurry. Somebody needs to make a, a, a stand here and, and be like, hey, this is how we're going to do it. Ugh. I apologize. They always be blowing their horns out here. There seems to be an ambulance fire truck every damn time. Every day.
All right. So we won the toss. Yeah. Am I get, am I getting that right? Yeah. And we're and we're going to be kicking from the north end of the field. So for for um the leathernecks, you'd be on the south end. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go do my stuff. Y'all enjoy. Will I go get my food. <laughs> Did I make yours big enough, Dave? Yeah, you did. The march is on. There you go. Nicole, I can see and hear you clearly and see the TV clearly. No lag, no echo, no glare. Thank you so much, Terry. We really do love, again, I said, watching this, watching the game with y'all right here. I will try not to smack in your ear while I'm eating. He missed it. Them or us? We got the ball. Well, I was out there, so sorry, y'all. Incomplete. Oh, there's a, uh, a tub thing full of that au jus to make gravy with and ton of meat for um tomorrow. Yeah, from. Mom buys them. Let's go. 
Again, I want to say thank you guys for coming in and joining me on joining Gary and I for the live. For those in the in the shadows, we thank you. Thank you, Nodak. Thank you, Terry. Thank you, Red. We appreciate you all. Y'all know that. I'll sneak my sandwich in. That baby good. Hey, ho, first down. Eli Green, remember him. Go Eli Green. Well, you're gonna hear that guy all day. Bye, Dan. I like that. You're gonna have a sleepover. Is there a glare, y'all? Hmm. Or is it just me again? Just you. Yep. It's just me again. You guys are able to see him. It's just uh it's in on my phone. All right, it's okay. Come on, Bison, let's go. I scream in y'all's ear. I'm sorry. I think I'm going to grab that um, TV tray quick then. So I don't have to keep. Oh, I'll just pinch my fingers. That didn't feel good. Is that Aju good? Yeah. I stirred it up pretty good to get it in there. Come on, y'all. We, we got to do this thing. You got it. Oh, yes. And how are you doing, Nodak? How are you doing, Terry? How y'all doing today? Oh, that's another bison, y'all. I really want these guys to win this game. I'm telling you. Last week, I was really not, I was not having it. But they're Twinkle Toes number seven. Oh, for what happened? No, oh, we got the ball. He got it. Oh, wow. All right. Double. So you had a good morning then? They better get this touchdown. Terry and Nodak, y'all, they better get this touchdown. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, damn. Hey, hey, we ain't trying to fight. What was that? Why did y'all? Why? Why? Why did that boy do that? Oh. I definitely like white and the bison and pass and take shots. Yeah, it was a nice morning. We need to get. We need to get a touchdown. 
First and goal. First and goal. Should have used some au jus, but I want to save that au jus for gravy tomorrow, y'all. If you make your French dips with roast like I did, just a little tip. I, I was supposed to film it. I just not have time for this stuff today. I'm going to do it one day again. Probably around the holiday time, but or whatever. But just saying, take that au jus and make a gravy out of it. Make some mashed potatoes, put that on there, have you a hot beef sandwich with that. Ooh. We gone. We get it? Yeah. We got it? Woo! That's what I'm talking. TK Marshall, touchdown, baby. Go Bison. Mm -hmm. We don't get it. That's good. Good. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Go TK. I'm choking on my damn food. Commercial. <clears throat> Where are y'all? <laughs> They'll be back. So, that's a good sandwich. Did I make it messy for you? Oh, you soaked it in au jus, yeah. so it's falling apart. <clears throat> no, like I had to go to the hospital this morning with my brother-in-law. Oh, oh no! <clears throat> Get the wrong dose. Painkillers almost died. Jesus. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all, I'm coughing. Woo! <coughs> I'm just having a choke attack. I don't know why. My goodness, Terry. I hope he's okay. Um, when we had when we had painkillers, we kept not that we were doing anything wrong, but that happens. This is the reason people should keep Narcan. Because <clears throat> Narcan's a lifesaver. I mean, I've done it myself thinking I took a pain. I had pain medication that looked similar just to some regular medication. I overdid it by accident. Well, thank God I didn't take like a ton of it. I just took like one extra. But for those folks that, you know, it happens. Well, prayers that everything is okay, Terry. I'm so sorry. We've been doing good. We've been doing good. Just, uh, we missed you last week. We missed you both last week. <laughs> um, just been doing like regular uploads. Um, trying to participate in Vlogtober. I don't always list it as Vlogtober. But yeah, Terry, we got your brother in our prayers. I hope everything is going to be okay. That's very scary. Yep, Narcan's a really good thing to keep around for just, you never know. <clears throat> Most places will give it to you for free just to keep it on hand if you're the one that's going to be, you know, in a situation where you're going to be having to resuscitate.
The weather looks like it's been nice for your area. It has been, y'all, but it, it's going to snow. <laughs> it's going to snow this week. <clears throat> this Friday, they predict either this Friday or maybe even Thursday, um, we're supposed to get our first snowstorm. <laughs> Hello, who's, SRQ. Who's targeting? Who's targeting? They're doing now. Uh, somebody's targeting. We were targeting. What? Hello, SRQ. Welcome to the live. Thank you for sh popping in. Oh, they were forward and then when they were supposed to. Who did? They did? Yeah. They went the wrong direction? Yeah. That's why they can't. I'm sorry, uh, 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 Western Illinois. Um, you guys got to know which direction to run in. Yeah, SRQ, they're going to. Yeah, we. <clears throat> I think your area, because my brother lives down that area too, so. I think yeah, it's gonna um, it's gonna cover a good portion of our. Well, that's what the model said. It's supposed to cover a part of our state, and then of course Minnesota. Supposed to be next week, Thursday, Friday. They said the 28th, which is Saturday. We're talking next weekend. So that means on Wednesday, I got to go out and get everything just to play it safe for the weekend. You're ready? <laughs> I'm not ready. Not ready at all. I was hoping we could wait it out till November at least. It's only in a couple weeks here. Or a week, or a week and a half, I should say. Well, they're making their way down there. Really, they ran the wrong direction? No. Yeah. Did they get confused? Kubits, go Kubits. Was it good, baby? Yeah. Did you bathe in it? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all, he loves his French dip. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, oh, they're just loving on each other. Hey, hey, someone fighting over there? See, you know. We got the ball. Western Illinois recovered it? Yeah, but they still got to get the ball away. Mm. 
Oh, thank God, Terry. That was good in the ball. I ate too fast. Were you hungry? <laughs> I shouldn't have asked that. Well, maybe you know you were hungry. You could have had a, I could have made hors d'oeuvres. No, this is good. This is good. Do you want another one? No. I'm saving the rest tomorrow. Okay. So what are we doing here? How are we walking through? We're kicking it, we're catching it, we're running it. Number, what's his, I couldn't see that number over there, but he was just dancing. I mean, <laughs> remind me of my nieces and nephews when they would hop up and down and get happy, you know what I mean? That's kind of, that's kind of, that's kind of dance he was doing over there. Y'all, y'all's people are funny. Uh, Western Illinois. That boy over there is dancing. Mm, we recovered. We got it. Yeah. But watch. What's his number? Number 11. He was just over there hopping. <laughs> Holding on us. Is it you I have a problem with, boy? I think I, it might. he might be the ref I, got, I have issues with. Jeez, you're really mad. Well, at least we got seven to nothing. Shit. Why does it look so red? Just the lighting. Okay. You gonna go sneeze? Yeah. Looking good so far. As we don't get penalized on control line or scrimmage. Should get out of this with a win. Oh, right, exactly. Last week was crazy. Last week there, uh, UND's number seven, I called him Twinkle Toe Magoo. Uh, I forgot his name already, but that guy there, man, he's, he was fast. I don't know. I wasn't happy, though. I think we did a lot of things to ourselves again. So I'm hoping we don't do that today because we'll just all hope we we make it through. I'm more nervous about November 4th, really. I'm not too, too nervous uh, about this game or next game. Excuse me, but I am about November 4th. And if there's a rabbit watching, yeah, yeah, I know. I'm a little nervous, but let me tell you something. We're coming to get that damn rock. <laughs> you ain't keeping it all. We're coming for the rock, baby. He was laughing in good spirits when I left the hospital. He told my sister to bring him his phone and tablet. He has, he has to have surgery Monday to repair a bad knee. Oh wow, we got we got him. Put him in our prayers, Terry. That all goes well. Yeah, play all the way. Knee surgeries are scary. I mean, I've had both my hips fully replaced, and that was that was enough for me. We got what? Oh, it's not keeping up from in there. 
I got to keep up. There you go. There you go, number three. There you go. That's how we're supposed to do that stuff. Ain't that right? Oh, the sky is just dark over here, y'all. Listen, what we doing out here? Mm, them skies don't look like rain. They look like snow. You know, when you live around a snowy region, you can tell when the sky look like it's going to rain or when it's going to snow. That looks like snow. But, excuse me. Look at that earth sky I just got. I know. Just waiting for that little bit of flake. A, a flake? You're waiting for a flake to fly down? Yeah. They said it was not supposed to happen until next week. We weren't supposed to see snowflake. <laughs> snowflake so then. <laughs> Go on the internet. There's a shit ton. Ain't it, <clears throat> Oh, I got to straighten it up. Sorry, y'all. He just about hit him in the head with the ball. <laughs> he did. He always got smucked in the, in the melon. We did. Our right. number three, he's doing pretty good. You should have seen what he was over there doing while you were having your sneeze attack. I love that 22, though. He does good. Mm -hmm. You sure do. Oh. All right, Bison. What are we doing? Do well, it. We know we don't have no hey. interrupting. Mm -hmm. There you go. There you go. Run. Run home, baby. Run. No, oh. yeah. You whole shit. Did you get it? No, oh, we didn't you, get it. You fell. Oh, out. but we still got in there. Uh, At least Eli Green. That was Eli Green, y'all. That was Eli Green. See, he went and he. he uh, what if green. he would have dove in just a little bit more? Then he would have got it. Yeah. Oh, why? Because he did. He did it. He he dove and hit the ground before that. At the three. <sighs> Whatever. He still went. I don't care. I would. I, I want to change some rules around this piece. <laughs> Be the old. Girl, I want it to be my rules. Oh! Is that the one? Uh, Is that the it. one? Almost. Good job, 49. See? Is that the one? Let's go. Intense, intense, intense. VWO. Hey, welcome to the live. Thank you for thank you for coming on in. We're, they got us on the edge of our seats and the edge of our pants. Pants. I'm sweating already. Oh, we lost a yard. We lost the yard for what? They ran into a fucking bunch of leathernecks in front of him. Watch. Uh, well. <laughs> he, he turned sideways. <laughs> well, why did he go sideways for? He's supposed to go forward. <laughs> Well, what the hell was that? Was he trying to think he was Madonna and Material Girl or what? <laughs> Shit. Sing that Material. <laughs> material. A material Girl. There you oh, go. there you go. Hey, it's TK again. Hey, Ron, welcome to the line. Nicole, I was laying down in the other room. <laughs> yeah, you were okay. <sighs> Go, TK, touchdown, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shut up, he was doing my second touchdown, Ray. Who is second touchdown? What's he saying? Who's saying what? TK Marshall. Oh, yeah, it is a second touchdown. Yeah, that's what he went like this for. Oh, he did. Yeah. Oh, we better watch his fingers because last time we start doing weird shit, we got we got disorderly fucking no what disorderly was it? conduct. It was not. It was not. It was unsportsman conduct. Don't make me get nervous. 
Yeah, 14 nothing. 14 and nothing, baby. And take this stuff out here to the kitchen since we're done eating. Okay, we gotta have two. We gotta have two. Well, it's gonna be fun to clean up later. I'll be cleaning up during halftime, y'all. Yes, we will be. We'll be we'll be doing our old thing like we did last year, which will be cleaning up during halftime. <laughs> as much as we can. Maybe later what? Yeah, I know, like 30 minutes or something. You want to at 3.30 or 4 o'clock? Thank you, Ron. I try. Trying to get my H2O in. I do have adult beverages that will be taking place here. I'm just not sure if it's going to be at 3.30, 4 o'clock. I think I'll get everything ready by halftime. We'll spend the other half like that. I'm figuring by, by close to 4 o'clock, it should be halftime. We have to get in the rankings. Yes, we do. What's that? Oh. What the hell just happened? I'll fix it later. You're going to go to Papa Murphy's and have meat. Look at that. Cole, please check out Depressed Ginger's video about the Fargo Dome being one of the best dome stadiums in college. Gary, run, Nicole. What? Gary, run. Nicole is going to crack that whip. Ah. <laughs> run, Gary, run to the dang beer cooler. No, I really I don't want to be passed out by by five. Well, come out now. Ah. <sighs> they ain't doing nothing. They ain't doing nothing. Back in North Dakota's always got to put a damn ad, slop that ad right in there, just like it matters. Well, they're the one sponsoring, so, but still. What did he just slap him for? What was he must have did something wrong? Slapped his own guy. Now 85 slapped uh, another one of our guys. Slapped him right on the back. Watch. He just slapped him. I don't know. He must have made him mad and he did something. I've torn my meniscus. They go in and they do a laparoscopic freaking cut the thing out and you're fine in about four to six weeks. Y'all, I did. I tore my, my left knee meniscus. My my niece was just a baby. Come on, Flukies. Oh, no, 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 73. You're going to get us in trouble. Did you just see what he did? I mean, the guy was already in the sideline there, and our guy just gave him a good shove that you're going to get us in trouble. I know they want to take their aggravation out from last Saturday, but and the probably the hell that they've been put through all week. But I don't think we should be um 14 and oh. Come on, yo. Lord Jesus. Oh, 
Coyotes are winning. Coyotes are winning? Yeah, 17 to 3. I don't like them dogs. They need to go back to the dog pound. And the first quarter, 14 and 0. NDSU 14, WIU 0. South Dakota State is 0 0. Who? The Slukies. Who's playing the Slukies? South Dakota Jackrabbits. They're 0 0. Oh, the Slukies will get slaughtered by the Rabbits. I don't I know. Mean. It's pretty even. They're 5 and 1. They, they won five games, long one. The Slukies? Yep. And uh, the South Dakota is, zero, is five and We old. play the freaking them long nose damn things next week. <laughs> Won't we? Murray, you play. Oh, I thought we'd play the damn salute. They haven't won a game either. <laughs> Murray hasn't won a game? Maybe one. We're going to have an easy game today, but I'm, I'm watching South Dakota. Jackrabbit, that's where we get our rock from. I don't know if it was. Was that roll on the sideline there? They're asking if that was, it looked like roll, roll, sorry, roll, was on the sideline. Roll was on the sideline. He doesn't sit up in the box? Yep. I guess not. I reckon he didn't. I guess he's just out there. Yep. <clears throat> that was him, Gary? You know who he's talking about? Yeah. Cody Mulch. That's one thing I will say. These farm boys are built like a dang brick house. Brick house. They are, they're huge. They're big and they're big and they're big, they're huge. Just so sick and tired of this being commercials, y'all. Hell, I could have got the whole kitchen cleaned up in this amount of time. Oh, that's why I can't get them. I'll get them later. What are you trying to get? The Hawks and you and I, they're not playing yet. They play at four. We're still playing. We're going to still be playing at four. I, I know. I know. I'm, I'm watching the scores throughout the football. Oh, shit. I'm the one that's nervous about the God dang, uh, uh, not next week, but November 4th. I'm nervous. But Jack Rabbit just scored. They need to lose a game with their little cottontails between their legs. Yeah. Yep. They need they shit. We're back. Don Izzo. I don't give a dirt about no Izzo Schnizzo. Second quarter run, baby, run, 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 run. run. You, you just got into our own goddamn way. Guys, what are you doing, Ayo? Had they moved them others, he could have took it home to the house. He could have. But our guys had to have their big toes in the damn way on our own man. At least you don't have to go against seven like you did last week. Well, that little twinkle toes magoo, I'll tell you what. Great, great return on the field. Absolutely. Right, Terry? I, I know they got, they got men and not boys. <laughs> I just thought, you know, from a, from a person just watching, I'm like, they were right in his way. And had they cleared the way, they were in his way. They were in his way. I seen it. 
They were in his little way. He could have took it home. Took it home to the house. He could have ran it all the way over here. Okay. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry. Good coverage. Zach Mathis, number zero. See it? He uh, kind of hit the fingertips. It's all right. We got this. We're going to get it, y'all. Mm -hmm. We're going to get her. Hello, Donna. Welcome to the live. I'm sorry I can't turn it up. If I if I do do that, um, they'll shut the whole thing down. So you're gonna have to rely on us. If you're from if you're from uh, the Leathernecks, um, well, they're they're not doing too good. If you're an NDSU fan, I'm so sorry, hon. I can't I can't turn it up. Because I used to do that in the past, and then the whole thing would be disrupted. They would shut it down, and then I'd have to try to come back live with it again, and it becomes really an issue. And other things happen. Boy, did he make then it? I get, then I get, I don't know, did they get it? Touchdown! Touchdown! There we go! Oh, they're going to review it. They're going to review it? Yeah. Don't make me get rid of my damn comment. So sorry they didn't kick it. See? Oh, come on. They're reviewing the touchdown. All right, let's see. Looks like he was in. It looks in to me. I don't know what y'all think. He looked into me. See, look at what he's doing. Upon further review of the touchdown, it stands. Ha, ha, bitch. We got it. We ain't got to worry about it. It stands. It's good. Now let's kick this damn goal. Yeah, his shoulder was in there. Right there. His shoulder right in. All right, let's get it. Kick the goal. So those of you that are just tuning in, I'll go over the rules a little bit while they're doing their field goal. Hey, we're good. Um, so that's 21, Bison, and zero to, to uh, uh, Western Illinois. For those of you that are new to the channel that are just tuning in, I cannot zoom in, turn the volume up. Um, I cannot do any of these things. I usually go live 15 minutes prior and explain because as I, as I was saying before, um, I can't have it up. If I have it up, they will shut the whole thing down. They will shut it all, and they've done it before. That's why I know. I know some people have said, oh, it's not happened to my friend. Well, I can't. I ain't your friend, okay? <laughs> whoever, whoever said that before, I mean, I don't know. Maybe they got an email later on. It usually takes a little bit before they get the email. But, no, I, my live has been shut down from it completely. So, and then I have to try to come back and then it's a hassle. And then I get banned from being able to go live for like, because it, the volume, uh, it picks it up. Now, how other people do it, I don't know. Maybe they buy a broadcasting license. I don't, I have 
not purchased any one of those. I am not monetized. We just are here to watch the game with you all and enjoy it together. That's the sole purpose. Yep. We just have, we have the volume from the other TV in the bedroom on. I just can't have it directly out here. Because if I have it out here, they will shut it down. They do not care. But any hootie, it's commercial. And I have to turn it away with commercial, too, because there's been times where um, they've emailed me and dinged me with that. And then I have to try to figure out how to get that commercial out of there per each segment. That's a pain in the ass to the point where I just delete it because... What am I going to do? So, yeah, I, if they don't find it appropriate, they'll email me or they'll shut it down. But if you are interested in watching the game, uh, they do have it on ESPN+. Plus. I think they have it on your local ABC network. Otherwise, that's that's why we go live, y'all, is is to watch the game with y'all. Because we, we're Bison uh, fans, uh, former employees, and we enjoy watching the game with everybody, like a family. Mm -hmm. Mr. Wentz. Well, they never got me for the Wincy. They never got me for Wentz. They got me for all the rest of it, though. And usually I'm always turned in with my mug in the frame because a lot of times if my mug isn't in frame, they'll, they'll get pissy pants about that, too. Now, isn't everybody they do it to, but apparently they like to target me for whatever weird and odd reason. I shit you not. And then we got people that just hate us. They just hate us and just want to make our lives miserable sometimes. And so the trolls are out there. <laughs> They're out there, hot and heavy. So we can't entertain them either. To me, this is great. There are always resources to get audio. Just have to research. Yeah, and another thing, the NDSU, um, they do have audio on their Facebook page. That's why I don't even go on, on there on Facebook because I used to try to do this on Facebook so I'd stream both of them. And then they came and got me over there. Then I get nasty little messages from, from Facebook. <laughs> there, was a no, there was a point where it was like no win-win for me. So I do it this way specifically because it works. And it's mostly just to hang out with you guys and, and hang out with family. That's what we're doing. We're building a community and we're, we're building a family here. Because we need, everyone needs community and family. Oh, well, they're going to be fucking, no, oh, they're going to be fighting again, damn it. I thought I see a little hand get thrown somewhere. <laughs> it's always a penalty. Penalty, penalty. Now we're holding face mask. Personal foul. Who? Sixty-four. By 64? Yep, yeah, you grabbed him by the face mask. Oh, I seen that. Ooh. Just grabbed him like this. I will, Nodak. I enjoy every minute with y'all. I really do. Mm-hmm. 
Logan, Logan, what is Logan? Who? Logan Cox. That ain't him. That's him. Or them. That's him. Logan, right there. Oh, cop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number 43. I know they had a they had a, a uh, his on. his his uh a uh, friend from Missouri. Was it last week? Yeah. Yep. Just straight, y'all. Doesn't look straight. St. Louis glass. I'm using my little mini tripod. All right, let's get it. Let's get this thing, Jelly Bane. <clears throat> Third and sixteen. Third and sixteen. Start calling, please, honey. Oh, he almost hit the ref. I always hit that referee. That ball was. Quick three and out. Yeah, we get it back. Quick three and out. I'm just saying. I'm just repeating. 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 Campbell in the punt. Caught that. Oh. oh. You know, I'm going to take his dang vocal cords and wrap them around his tongue. Time out. Time out. Who took the time out? We did? Yep. Time out. Well, now what are we going to do? I need some Tylenol. Y'all, I have been hurting all week. I don't know where the hips are, like where my hips are, and like where everything's like all the bones around all that. I mean, I can just feel it. The arthritis in there. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm trying not to eat any Tylenol, not a lot of it because it's bad to do. And I don't want any pain pills, so I ain't going anywhere for any. <laughs> it's a change of weather. So I've been really wrestling with this constant left side of mine, just throbbing, hurting, and burning all the way from the groin hip area straight down to the toes. Oh, they already got the abominable snowman, a uh, cold, cold ceilings, uh, cold seal ceiling setting things up. They should have thought about that a week ago. Yep, they even got demos in there. Nothing like having a good snowstorm next week. Right in time for the game. I surely hope it ain't a freaking all right, all all out blizzard where they have to cancel the game. And remember our window? It was halfway up. The snow break. You couldn't even see outside. You couldn't even stand on your kitchen door. <coughs> Listen, it is too early in the game for a uh, uh, in the winter part. It's still fall. Tell them that it's still fall. We don't want that white shit hanging around on the ground yet. They said there won't be enough. Gary, does Gary know you have a friend named Arthur? Who? Arthur. Hey, they got a touchdown. Hey, we got a touchdown. They took, they took it to the house. Ra! Nelson, touchdown. 76 yards. He ran that baby. No freaking fucks given. He took it to the house. What 
What in the hell are you talking about, Ron? Arthritis. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, it's a pain in my ass, literally, Ron. <laughs> He's not invited over. Oh, don't say that to Ron. Ron, you're invited over. No, no, arthritis. Arthritis isn't invited over? Well, let me tell you right now. <laughs> arthritis is screaming up and down my left side right now from my, from my, uh, uh, from the waist down. Let's just put it that way. I was about ready to get up and quit babbling and go grab me some Tylenol. We just scored 28 to zero. Look at that. It's better than that. Go Bison. Might be low on potassium. You know what? Could be mad magnesium. You don't eat enough bananas. Well, I haven't had any... Uh, I can get potassium from um spuds. Mm, well yeah, you can there too, but uh from the spuds. Artichokes. I couldn't think of the name of it. Artichoke. Y'all like artichokes, they're loaded with potassium. If you don't like nanners like me, I don't really care for bananas, but I'll eat an artichoke. Or not artichoke, a freaking what are they? Avocado. Oh my God. Can't even think. Avocado. The Don is old. Avocado. They're loaded with potassium. Artichoke. You can't get shit out of an artichoke. That's more just for some fun to eat. Commercial, y'all. I'm going to grab me some Tylenol. Grab me some moccasins. Right. We've had these for the last couple of years. We need I know, back. because you had the item for me because I was overdoing it. You ate that first bottle. Well, my bad. shit's hurting, so I'm gonna take I'm gonna take two extra strength. All right, here we're back. We're back. We're back. Here we go. Ah, straighten up. Here we go. The march is all. Oh. I should be good for the rest of the night. I haven't taken any since 8 o'clock yesterday. Who are you going to get him or are you going to let him run? Sheesh. It is a little wetter though, ain't it? How am I going to do it? I ain't trying to mess around with it way too much. I'm trying to find the sweet spot. Oops. Don't want to block anybody. I wasn't trying to. Well, this is the kind of uh, plays that we need to be doing. Oh, he was trying to. What would y'all do if he depantsed him? What would y'all do? I would have lost that. I would have lost it right then and there. Has that ever happened before? I want to know. Has they ever depantsed anybody before in playing a game? Well, the way he was hanging onto the ankles over there, I thought, well, hell, he's going to take one down. Like, <laughs> I'm still doing it. Pants and all. That's what it looked like to me. Oh, it hurts. That's all right. 
once this weather gets rolling and going and we get some really nice cold weather rolling for a few weeks. We depend on each other. I, yeah, okay. My body will be used to it. Stop. <laughs> depends you. <laughs> Where's <Where's Hoppe? laughs> Hoppe? Why the snork? Because they're going to depend on Oh. Well, what did he do that for? He threw it over his head. He did not. Dude, it, uh, I watched it bounce right off him. It bounced right off his chesticle. Deer in the headlights. I'm trying to figure out how to get the goddamn glare right up off that back and heifer. Well, it looks like he's feeling kind of pain. Look at, look at what he did. Oh, he didn't want to get brought down. He just, was he scared? He stopped. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with this football team. I ain't never seen anything like it in my entire life. We intercepted it. That's right, baby. Let's go, Bison. Go, Bison. First in 10. And it's his first interception of the season, y'all. Number 11. Watch. Watch. Oh, yeah. Look, he did it, too. Bounced off. Six 63. Bounced. 63 caught it. 43 or 63? Logan Cop. 43. Logan Cop. Whoa, go, go. Did we get it again? Yeah, we are. Hey, yeah, Joe. Stop. Joe, stop. Stoffel. Stoffel in the end zone Stoffel. again. Did I spell it right? Number eighty two. Oh, they're going to review it again. Don't make me move. He oh, made it in. But his hand hit the ground. See? His hand was outside of the, out right there. But it's just where his knee was down. Well, that if they're counting that, not the hand, well, that his knee was freaking down right in there, yo. Oh, Pyatt oh, working on your shoulder. The silence. The silence. Touchdown. Touchdown's good. It was rolled good. Okay, you're doing your job this time. Because he's usually a pain in my ass, that ref. No, it's not. He's younger. It was an older guy. That is, well, I shouldn't say older. I should be around my age. Okay, well, any hootie. 34 0. Hey, y'all. Do you think we could get like a 56 and all? <laughs> what do you think? You think y'all you think we're gonna we think we're gonna walk away? I say what let me see. Uh-uh, we got a we got a warning. Got too excited. We weren't supposed to, I don't know. We weren't supposed to move the ball. We weren't ball supposed to move the ball. 
All right, well, let's go. But I say the end score is going to be 56 to 0. 56 to 0. And field goal was good. Y'all, I think 35. Yep, I, I believe. No, I bet you would get about 60 something. Yeah, I, I say that. I say about 60 something. Well, I'm 60 years old, so. You know what? Oh, he hurt himself. Well, Susie and Jim are going to be happy today. Maybe they'll eat some spaghetti. You know what? What do you think they had spaghetti today? Yeah, they did this morning. <laughs> and they did this morning. <laughs> Yo, we got 35 and oh, go Bison. We can do it. We got this. We're at this point. At this point, I, I already call it. We won. <laughs> Well, he caught it. That was a good thing for them, I guess. Who cares about the data? We don't care about a quick word from Shields. We ain't doing nothing quite yet. They're trying to line it up. Sorry, y'all. I'm all like in your faces and stuff, but I was I had to put it away because of the dang commercial. All right. They were looking pants. Uh oh, somebody from Western Illinois got hurt. From Western Illinois. Exactly, Nodak. Exactly. We got to keep freaking hammer to the pedal. Exactly. Hammer. Hammer to. Oh, I just popped my dang. Well. What does he mean this game has gotten out of hand quickly? Look at the score. Well, that ain't out of hand. That's pretty damn good, I say. <laughs> Kyle. Kyle saying, Kyle, uh, what's his name? Kyle saying, oh, oh, this, this game got a hand, out of hand pretty quickly. I, don't, I, I wouldn't necessarily have said that. Usually Dom is a critic, man. He just dogs on him all the time. Of course, Kyle's former player, so he does pretty good at, at being cheerleader of the bunch. Let's roll. Oh, there he goes. Laying down on him. <laughs> well, I didn't mean roll on top of him. I didn't mean roll around on top. Literally, literally. Look, there he goes. Oh, does that hurt? See, I don't understand. Now you're over there, the Empire truck, BB. He come rolling over down over here for what? Y'all, I'm checking that forecast. It looks like it's going to snow today. <laughs> My shit's hurting. What? Who got their first sack? Number 11. Number 11 got their first sack? Yeah. 
Why can't they know when they get a sack? Oh, it's right here. Let me see. It says Thursday it's going to snow from 7 a.m. to all the way into uh, Thursday and Friday. So Wednesday we'll go get stuff. Yeah. And then yeah. we'll we'll vlog it. Yeah. Yeah. But we could get, we could see snow between now and then too. That's what they say. Did you get it, boy? Woo! Look at that. Look at that. Did you push him over. Let's get somebody step in and do something. Shit. Half time, seven nothing. Half time already? No, it's Lukey's. Oh shit! Don't scare me. And jackrabbits. Slukies. Oh, jackrabbits and slooks? Yeah, they're seven nothing. The slanooks? They're having trouble scoring games. Who is? Which one? South Dakota. South Dakota's having, the jackrabbits are having a hard time scoring with the salukis. Yeah, seven nothing. <laughs> Half time. The rabbits, the jackrabbits have zero? No, we are there seven. They got one touchdown. Slukies have nothing, and it's halftime. It's halftime, and the Rabbits only got seven points? Yeah. Oh, they'll be proud of that. I reckon it because we're so proud. We got seven points. Well, uh, points are points, I suppose. Well, we want points. We are. Look at I guarantee you we're going to be 50 to 60-something by the end of the game. Oh, look. See? Hey. Number 88. Carson Williams. Carson Williams. From Buffalo, New York. From Buffalo, New York. Oh, it's William's first catch since, since the season opener. I heard beer time from Gary. <laughs> no doubt it is too. It is. <laughs> It is. Oh, there she goes. She's just running. I am not. She's running to the. I am not. I am not running. Cam Miller just got a just got a uh, first down. Cam Miller just got the first down. Yep. Go Cam. Phenomenal AJ Styles. <laughs> this tore a hole in the goddamn. I didn't grab your koozie. Grab the koozie. Grab the koozie. Hey, hey, hey. Grab the koozie. Ish, he's singing about it, Nodak. <laughs> he's singing, grab a. Y'all heard him. I ain't got to repeat it. Grab a koozie. Grab a koozie. 
Put it in the koozie. We're going to have to get some backup beers one day. Cheers. Salute. Ching, ching. A little ASMR. Bison. Another bison. Cheers, Nodak. Cheers, Ron. Cheers, Terry. Cheers. SRQ. Cheers, VWO. Cheers, Donna. Oh, for being in trouble, he got out. He razzled flag and dazzled. And I bet you it's on us, too. You got a flag on the field? Yeah. Here we go. You're going to get Nicole all riled up. Shit, I wasn't paying. <laughs> I wasn't going to get all riled up. <laughs> <laughs> they are looking to score again, yes, sir. But we got a flag. On what? On us. Him. Blocking the back. Blocking the back? Yep. So what's that whole thing that he wears back here just to protect his neck or what? Yeah. That's it. You're breaking your neck. How come they all don't wear one? Some are not. They're not pressured. Look at this guy carrying everybody with him. Just about God. Just about God. Number eight. Oh. He's a little shit, but he does great. Look at him. Watch. He just, he ain't going, he's carrying all of them with. They're all going on. J.J. Ross. J.J. Ross to take them all the way to the damn bus. <laughs> he's like, come on, I'm taking you straight to the bus, but first we're going to make this touchdown. <laughs> there he goes again. Go, J.J., go, run, run. First and goal. Oh, he's almost there, too. Kubitz. Kubitz. That is another bison. I want to be out there hollering. That's another bison. The 220 rushing yards. 220 rushing yards he has, huh? Yep. That's lots of yards. That's a lot of yards, is right. I bet you he, he's never won a game though. This guy? Yep. He's the head coach. Okay, so he's never won a game. These guys haven't won a game ever, ever, ever. Not this year. Be six and zero. Or no, own six. Well, what's his deal? I mean, not that I'm complaining because we're winning, but I'm just saying, I can keep your job at the end of the year if you if you don't get your team to at least somehow score something. We got it. No, nope. overthrew it. That's okay. We get it again. We'll do it again. Well, Mike Beck would get in there and help out. You know what? What? Stop it. Hey, the Florida Gators. They're, they're comparing the Florida Gators. Nicole, I can see you here and the TV clearly. No lagging, no echo. Thank you, Terry. Fighting two are ready, just about ready to start. Oh, right, no. Look it. Look it. Number 33. Logan. 
Logan. Pull back. Hofstead. Number 33. I ain't liking this. Pyatt's there. Dr. Pyatt's always there. He's a perfect doctor. Dr. Pyatt's the one that amputated your leg. Yeah, he's got it at the house. He does yeah. not in a jar. <laughs> huh? Yeah, he's going to put it back on. Put, yeah, oh, yeah. A petrified Gary Newman, a Gary leg. Oops. It's that right. leg was fucked up, by the way. Petrified. Like, oh, it's his arm. Get the go post. No, it's his shoulder. He oh. got he got a little tap on the boutoir. Oh, you get a little sphinx. Okay. Well, I'll make you feel better. Let me see. What do you do here? What did he do? He jerked on his arm. Oh. Pulled the arm. Probably pulled the muscle. Oh, and he's had going? issues with it before. I don't know what the hell they think they're doing. I mean, we're almost we're almost halftime already, bro. No, we're doing a timeout. Fifteen seconds remaining on the clock, and we're pulling timeouts. We have 35 fucking points. They have zero. What is the problem? It's play ball. Gays can chop it up in the halftime. What do I know, right? Ugh. That's just my thoughts. Y'all, I always I always say what I think, and a lot of times I ain't got no dang filter. You should thought of this. I, I was when I was invented. I was not invented with a Tasty filter. Breeze is having half price day today for the final season of 2023. Do you see our situation? Do I look like I'm going to Tasty Freeze? <laughs> I don't reckon I'm going to Tasty Freeze. Oh, went straight through the fingertips. Well, you, yeah, he was getting hung on to anyway. That's why he wanted the flags thrown. Because he was he was wanting to fly through the air. He wanted to feel like he wanted to know what a real football player felt like. So he had to hang on. Oh, we're doing a field goal. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. Three points. Thirty-eight. Yeah, I believe we're going to be 60, 60 some points on the board by the time this game is done. Halftime. Isn't it? We there yet? Yeah, I got nine seconds on the board. Then I can go out there and get that kitchen pretty much cleaned up. He's hitting on the referee. He's hitting on the referee. What? You know what? <laughs> his wife is there for Christ's sake. And his boys are playing on the team. That is their mother. <laughs> where's, you know what? Where's you, grandpa? <laughs> oh, you're a shit starter. Fucking <laughs> bird. It's a close game. Yeah, Gary, it's gonna be a real close game. I'm telling you, like it's it's like got me already sweating bullets. Oh, first look at oh. Excuse me. Excuse me. Halftime. Halftime. Well, God damn it. It's an unlucky day. Dude. Jack Rabbit just got another touchdown. 14 nothing. 14 nothing on the Jack Rabbit? 
Yep. And they're playing the flute. All right, guys, this is where I go clean up my kitchen. Um, I think Enz is going to say he's going to go ahead and talk to the team. Let's see if he's hoarse. Yep, he's hoarse. So <laughs> he's going to be doing some talking to the team. Not that they were doing anything wrong. But yeah, this is your time to go and grab yourselves whatever your little hearts desire. Hang out with me in my kitchen while I straighten it up. Because I believe it's about 15 minutes. I just want to get stuff in the in the um, rinsed off and put into rinsed off and put into the dishwasher. Because, you know, I can't think. Oh, I have to wash that. I don't think I have to wash it. Oh, no. Damn oven's been on. That's all right. Anyways, I'd like to say thank you all. that have uh, joined the live. We really do appreciate you guys. This is what I do during the halftime show, nine times out of 10. If I've cooked a meal and I try to get, ladies, y'all know, Men, y'all men too. You like to get ahead of your, your kitchen stuff. Boom. As much as possible. Because when the game's over, I don't want to be out here doing dishes half the day and night. I don't like them that much. I don't like the dishes that much. Anyways, I hope you all are having a fabulous Saturday, a fabulous weekend. As usual, we, we hope and send prayers to uh, the, the uh, Western Illinois when you go back home. We always want you all to have safe travels. I never, I never ever um, wish anything bad or anything upon folks. I just always want folks to, when they're traveling from there, from wherever, I don't know where my other bay leaf went. Oh. Anyways, we always wish everyone uh, safe travels. Miss Nicole, understand ladies that can cook and ladies that rule the world. <laughs> Do my very best. No matter what condition I'm in, I always try my very best. Y'all, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm definitely gonna do a video on how I do my French dip. I've never shared it, and I should.
It's pretty simple for the most part. She's in there. Where is she at? I'm having to dig in here, but I know it's in there. Y'all, I got a bay leaf stuck in there and I can't get it out. Is she in there? Mm. No. <laughs> So buys in, they're doing wonderful. That's what I like. You need to keep you need to keep that work up. Of course we're gonna soak our our things so when I'm done with the game I can do an easy easy breezy cleanup. Easy, breezy, yeah. I love Dawn dish soap. That's the only dang dish soap I will buy because Call it. It just does the trick. It just does it all. But anyways, yeah, about the French dip, it's real, it's real darn simple. I just buy a roast, a beef roast of any sort, throw it in my crock pot with beefy onion lipton soup mix. I don't buy that generic stuff. Um, So I put that in there and then I put garlic, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika. Uh, thyme. I get uh, that Johnny's au jus. It's a little jug that you can buy it next to your Worcestershire. I put that in there or you can put Worcestershire in it. I have both, but I use Johnny's today. I don't always use that, but I did today. Um, and of course, water, but you can also use uh, unsalted beef broth. I can't stress the unsalted part enough because you go using regular beef broth, and it's got that salt in there, and then you add that uh, 
that Lipton onion beefy soup mix or even any Lipton, any of that stuff. It's real salty. I guess if you want salty, I mean, you can put unsalted beef or salted beef broth in it, but I don't, I don't suggest it. Okay. The lower the sodium, the better when it comes to that, because Johnny's has already got salt in it. The Lipton onion soup mix has already got salt in it. And I don't add my peppers and onions in it because I don't want it to get mushy. I don't like my stuff mushy. So then anyways, I put it on there on high for depending on how much you get. This was a two pound roast. So I started at eight o'clock in the morning and she was done by quarter to two. And I did it on high. But for those that don't watch the channel and stuff, or that's why I'm saying, but uh, yeah, one day I'll, I'll do a recipe on it. Simple, it's just toss everything in your crock pot, set it on high and walk away. And when you come home, or you can do it on low for eight hours for those that work. Maybe you get your buns that you like, split them in half, toast them up. And I just make homemade potato wedgies to always go with ours because Gary likes dunking it in there. There's so many recipes online though, y'all, for that. Right. You can pretty much find it anywhere. You sounded sick today, Mr. The Garbage Disposal. What's the matter? Must have got something in there. That's all right. I'll make an ice tray, shove some ice down in there, and turn on and let her rip. Oh, yeah. If you guys don't know how to clean your, your, uh, garbage disposal you shove some ice in there like fill it up fill it up and you turn on your warm water don't turn it really hot but don't turn it be sure it's not on cold and you flick that baby on and she will chop it up and send it right on down All right, well, that's ready to go when I'm ready. That's been wiped off. This has all been wiped down. So we just gotta worry about the stuff in the sink and a little bit on the stove. Woo, I'm gonna be freaking awesome tonight. Okay, I'm good. Love getting that housework done. At least getting a head on it. Getting a head on it. And if you guys see people in the chat that you have not ever connected with, by all means, connect with them. Oh, yes, Dom Izzo. Let's go ahead and turn it over to Dom. Dom Izzo, he's the, I don't like that guy at all. Dom Izzo. That's right, it was complete, oh, complete dominance right from the jump.
That ended in a 21 buys and lead, he says. Here you go. See? We oh, pushed him back. I didn't touch that part. <laughs> Run to the house. See at number three. Mr. Nelson. That was a good player. Hot <laughs> twinkle toes. There you go. That was what you oh, that's the one that you got hurt. I hope he's okay. I really do. I hope he's all red. Yeah, so if y'all ever want to chime on in, they've got that thing up. They got that um oh yes, next Saturday. Murray, Kentucky is who we're going against. Yep. Mm, that'll be a fun thumbnail to create. Coverage starts at 2.20. Kickoff at 2.30. Of course we'll be here. Blizzard and all. Uh, we'll see what happens. I can show y'all the outside, though. Looks pretty gloomy. Look at them dark clouds over there. Those are snow clouds. Those ain't rain clouds. Them are snow clouds. Mm -hmm. She's going to be doing that. All right. Let me see if I did this. Aha, see, it was the lighting. I ain't using my ring, my uh, ring thingy today, y'all. No reason for it. I'll look like I'm red, but I just flicked it on and it's all good in the neighborhood. You look like you're all red. It does. Why don't you say hi to the folks? Hi, hmm. I'm busy. You are not. I'm cool Looks like you're red too. It's the lighting in here. I know, I'm on Abby. You are not. Stop. Yeah, I'm on Abby. Whatever, Gary. You know, he's lucky. He's lucky I understand his sense of humor and how much I love this man. I love this man. Even though he wears his feet on backwards. You wear your feet on backwards, honey? Yeah. Yeah, whatever. You guys know that song? I thank you for my man. I can't remember what that how it goes, but anyways. When Bunny from Jelly Roll, his wife, when she does that little skit, I always think Gary. Thank you. Thank you for my man. I thank you for my man. <laughs> Let me give you your four o'clock shot. Let me give you the four PMs. It's four PM. That's yeah. four PM. Yeah, wait till I scratch my belly. Nobody needs to see the Buddha. Only Curtis. Well, you and Curtis can compare Buddhas on Monday. Oh, I'm sorry. So I'm sorry. Gavin's my best friend. Gavin's your best friend? Yeah. Oh. Ah. Excuse me. Here comes the drug person. <laughs> Whatever. I have to hand out medications. Yeah. Drug 
person. Yeah, How is the neighborhood? <laughs> so, it's been quite wild around here. I haven't told y'all none of this. So, when was it? Monday? Half time over? Uh, they just come back. They just come back, but I'll still talk and tell you. So, uh, Nodak asked, how's the neighborhood? And so, Monday, there was this guy peering into our window at 8 o'clock in the morning. We went over here. It's decorated. Oh, how fun was that? I went and chased that sucker down. And he disappeared into thin air. Hey. <laughs> that was weird. Then the homeless community, they keep somehow breaking into the building. And um, they went and they destroyed the community room. And then they destroyed this all in one night, destroyed um, our laundry room. I have no idea what they were trying to wash. It was a shoe, a backpack, a jacket, no, mind you, one shoe, uh, a backpack, uh, whatever. Woke up to in the morning and having to go in the laundry room and clean that up. Um, and I think the person that no longer lives here in one of the one of the apartments he gave his number out he gave his security code out and that's how they're getting in they're not really breaking in they they had a code I, i'm hoping that the landlord gets rid of that code uh let me see what else oh they had a party out here was it friday Thursday night. So the west end of the building, it wasn't residents. It was the homeless people. They um, they were out there. I don't know what they were doing. Hanging around there, someone said. They couldn't get them to go away. But they were they were they were partying in the freaking entryway. Yeah, the NFL scouts there. Oh, we do? Yep. Yeah. So it's, it really hasn't affected us in a whole too much. It's just a lot of shit that goes on with the building. I, and I've been in those shoes. Mind you, I've, I've told my story before where I lived on the streets from the age of uh, 21 to 27, on and off, did a bunch of crazy shit. I understand the life. I understand The whole thing. But what I don't understand is I didn't congregate like that. I stuck to myself, I guess. I don't know. I'm sure they're looking for a warm place to be. And we do have a shelter right down the road. And I understand it gets full. But in the winter months, when the winter months come, the churches usually open their doors and they do the overnight thing with the churches. But these guys are just, I don't know. And they're just getting high. That's what they're doing. I would be very honest. That's what they're doing it, it out there. Is there. That's what I mean when I say party. They're getting high in the entryway. Trying to get in the building. <laughs> and that is it. Well, like that time that lady tried to get, get you to let her in, remember? She was... Oh, that was that was in February. Like, hey, lady, I'm a nice person. Let me in. I was like, screw you. I watch horror movies. I know what happens if I do that. <laughs> I know it's going to happen and I'm not ready to die yet. Okay. <laughs> not today. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. No doubt. We definitely need more patrolling. Uh, so I really, yeah, I watch out. I try, I try not to go outside much too much anymore at night to have me. I got to quit. 
I, y'all, I quit smoking for three years and I just picked that bad habit up last year. It's been a year and I need to quit again. But anyways, I try not going out there after dark because there's been a couple times that I have and thank God I, I know how to handle myself because I've been I'm from the street. I know what to do, right? Uh, but not everybody does. Anyhow, yeah, I've been I've been run up on and approached a couple times. Now the winter, uh, during the winter months, like when it's a blizzard out and shit, I go out there. I ain't getting bothered by nobody because ain't nobody out there. <laughs> I don't mind. Let's stand out there, freaking wind, snow blowing in my face. Hell, I don't care. <laughs> I got all kinds of headgear on, jackets on. <laughs> I don't smoke that often. I don't even smoke every day. So I might, I might have three cigarettes, maybe tops four. And like, I don't know. It's just why I don't even know why I bothered picking the habit back up again. It's not every day. It's not all the time. Well, I can't carry because I got, I'm a felon there. I'm a felony. <laughs> so I can't carry ever. Um, but I do have other ways of self-protection. And, you know, we also do have the castle law here. So that really helps a lot. Because, you know, even though I don't have a pew pew, I can have something that will stick a person pretty good. I got a few of those. Usually we just keep them around for like... Um, like, you know, like a whatnot or, or a decorative thing, but I don't mind taking one with me. They're pretty darn sharp. A friend of mine was upstairs. She has, she has a, what did she, one night we went and investigated what was going on because she carries now. She has, she's got one of them, a couple of them, a few of them. So anyways, but she's bringing me a bear spray and a, and a what was it, a foghorn? And I told her, I said, what in the hell is, are we going to do with this? I, I think we need a, a, a means of something bigger to, to happen here. Anyways, she did. She had the bear spray. I had the foghorn. And between me and her, we were going to try, <laughs> try to do this in a less lethal manner and handle the situation. It's always fun. <laughs> Imagine us ladies. Gary call. Gary tells me, call her and tell her bring the bazooka. And you know, <laughs> oh, I bring the bazooka. What the? Are we going to war? <laughs> bring the bazooka. Yeah, we have that. We got them. You know, they'll work just fine. You got me quite a few of those. I can legally handle that, carry that, have that, no problem. It's just the other thing I can't have. But yeah, she, she tells me, call her, tell her to get down here and bring the bazooka. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Oh, hey, the fucking bazooka. Oh, TK, third freaking touchdown of the game, TK. You go, guy. Hat trick. And I'm laughing because I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about that damn Muppet show. <laughs> Thinking court. about that goddamn bazooka, that uh, that Muppet show. It's a Thanksgiving one where it's the uh, the 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 chef, and he's got these pumpkins there, and he pulls out his bazooka. <laughs> he turns them into pie, and then says "mork mork." <laughs> I can't help but think about that. Oh, 
Whoops, I can't help but think about that, that damn show. Y'all, go to the Swedish Chef. Swedish Chef Thanksgiving. <laughs> and and you make sure it's the one with the pumpkins and the Swedish Chef. I can't help it. See, that's what we used to watch as kids. I know Terry and Nodak. I know y'all and, and Ron know what I'm talking about uh, when it comes to the Muppets. So, yeah, it's that's what was playing in my head when he's telling me, tell her, bring the bazooka. <laughs> bring the bazooka. I'm like, oh, we're going to make some pie today. <laughs> We're gonna make fucking pie today. <laughs> oh no. I told her about that. She was laughing too. Because <laughs> I don't know what to say. The bazooka gum? Oh yeah, and it had the little stories. I think they still sell it. But if you ever get a chance, check the Muppet one out on YouTube. It's one of my favorite ones. You know what? I think I have it on do I I should make a Muppet playlist. I should. Cause even as an adult, I love watching them. Bring the bazooka. That damn Swedish chef he you look at that thing right there. I don't know. He makes me laugh every time. And then it has the audacity say, <laughs> Mork, Mork. Oh, we're back. <laughs> like, boom, he made him into pie. <gasps> Oh, yeah, them too. Yeah, as well up there. We were always the commentators of the whole damn thing. In the balcony. Which, at the end, should we go mork, mork? Yeah. Mork, 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 kaboom. He changed him into, he changed the pork. <laughs> at first, he took his knives out. <laughs> They're like trying to deter him from cutting into them, right? He pulls out that that bazooka and it goes kaboom, instant pie. That's the way I thought. Yeah. I, well, I thought that's what we were going to be making when you told me to bring. When you told me to have her come down and bring the bazooka, I said, "Damn, Are we going to war." <laughs> well, look at what she brought down. Well, those couple things are the fine, but is that, is we don't we don't need. We don't okay. need the damn hard artillery. <laughs> Shit. Bring the bear spray. <laughs> bear spray is just fine as long as the wind isn't blowing in our direction. Sick. It'll it'll definitely give them a good sting. <laughs> yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. <sighs> Gary's always in point. He knows. <laughs> yeah, he does. God dang it. So, yeah. So, for the last couple of weeks, it's been quite eventful. <laughs> Thank God we hadn't had to use any bazookas. <laughs> I don't feel like making any pie, okay? Oh, he was hanging on to, he grabbed his little leg. Look at this, y'all, 45 to zero. Was that Cody Entz? Yep, sure was. You know, I often wonder sometimes if that doesn't, create any kind of friction having your sons play on the same team you coach Cops. oh 
Well, nobody's beating each other up today. In fact, we're trying to help that other guy. We're, we're just really soft on these guys today. Well, they're not going to be soft anymore. They're not, they can't do that. They can't afford to be soft anymore. They're soft they, they today. Gotta win. Every game counts. I know every game counts. And, 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 the, and my, main, my main thing is that we got November 4th coming up. I can't stress it enough that I'm really kind of... Uh, Nervous about that. Oh, time out on the field. Second commercial. Mork, Mork. So if y'all ever hear about a bazooka going off in the area, <laughs> we ain't doing that. We ain't doing it. It might sound like a bazooka, but it won't be. A damn air horn will be enough to deter anything away. I have gas that sounds like bazooka. You know what? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> well, it tells everybody to. You thought it. <laughs> bazooka. Bazooka. I, I do that with some of it. It lifts the cover. Well, good. At least it's your head under there, not mine. Yeah. What? You're telling on yourself. Tell them what you do. I'm gas. <laughs> oh, these poor people. It's commercial, y'all. It's commercial. Excuse me. Kick off your game at uh, Happy Harry's. Yeah. Oh, Bottle Barn. Yes. I don't shop at Bottle Barn. I shop at Happy Harry's every now and again. Usually Bernie's or cash wise, cash wise, because I can get, I can earn points and get money off. He needs those points. <laughs> we all do. I know, no, Dak. We all do. You should hear my niece when my brother does it. That's even more hilarious. We'll be on video chat. Auntie Mickey, Dad smells like cornflakes. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you mean he smells like cornflakes? He did something, and then she'll she'll imitate him. You know, <laughs> she'll she'll turn her nose up and wrinkle it, and she'll, she'll start gagging and tell me it smells like cornflakes. It smells like cornflakes. So if you like cornflakes out there, people, I'm sorry, but. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the way it works sometimes. How do you see cornflakes? Oh, I don't mind making cornflake chicken and shit like that. I like that. We, we were supposed to do a recipe. Oh, every time I talk about something, someone else does it. But I don't give a damn. She's always acting up. She's always being hilarious. <laughs> right? <laughs> I think we all been laughing at it since we were kids. I always laugh. Now the worst thing is though is when you wake up to it in the middle of the night and your 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 significant other has done released themselves in their sleep. And you both have your head under the covers and you're just sleeping so good and all of a sudden it comes up your nose and into your mouth and you start <laughs> i've done it it's happened to me i reach over and i smuck them on the ass i said hey what i'm sleeping i'm tired i'm sleepy i'm sleepy i said well you know what you just did better get up and go we'll check yourself 
It's happened a couple times. It happens. He got it. Oh, he got it. Who is that? Who is it? Number ah, six. Number six. Go Bison. Dutch oven. It is. I wanted to smell like Dutch oven. But well, then you know uh, what? Taste. You know what? I will make sure. I will make sure tomorrow morning I give you everything you ever want and more. You don't have to worry about biscuits and gravy. I got uh, something stewing for you. Okay. Oh, I'll make it all homemade right there in the bedwall for you. In the cover the hover. <laughs> Green gases are fuming out. <laughs> Green and yellow gases. Yep, tomorrow morning, y'all, I'm making biscuits and gravy, home fries, eggs. We're going to need it. That's the best time. Let's eat. Let's eat a dozen of eggs at once. Oh, uh uh. Your daughter did that. I ate something too like that and just I, you guys were eating boiled eggs like because we had received a bunch of boiled eggs from somewhere and I had flats upon flats upon flats of these of these eggs and I needed to cook them up. And so she was already making Look, oh, one. right to the house, baby. Good game. Yeah. Cat and Slippery, we're doing good today. We're doing good. Oh, y'all right? I'm telling you, we're going to, okay, I changed my score. I said 60 something. I think I think I'm gonna go more like 72 mark. I think we're gonna be 72. I think our score is gonna be around the 72 mark. No, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's stick with 60. I'm figuring 68. 60, maybe, maybe 60, maybe 64, 63. I don't know. I'm thinking 60s, but we definitely could hit 70. Let me see. What we got? Third quarter, four minutes. Okay. I'm going to be more generous on the 60 sub mark. I don't want to be too, too, too high. Because I, I predict the game will be over by 530. Yeah, probably about 515, 520, maybe. 530 with around the 60 some mark 60 something 60 63 60 I, I was thinking maybe 68 oh, y'all better get them better get them It was Dad Kelly? Yeah, he used to play for him. He used to play in the 90s. Commercial, y'all, they ain't doing nothing. <clears throat> I think they need to change that around there a little bit from that versus point. I think they needed to uh, put them dogs at the other end. How about them cats? They like to what? Who? Glass. He's not having a good day. You're supposed to say shh ASMR. What's that mean? You're supposed to go shh. right in the microphone. No, not when you not when you're when you're not when you're drinking that kind of you're gonna get Miller draft. I am not putting that in my lips. I haven't even had a truly yet. 
Or what what does Kili drink? No. The, those uh coladas. Oh yes. I like I like them. I like that. I like that modelo uh modelo uh the yeah, I like them. I probably pronounced it wrong, but I like them. Them are delicious. Throw some tahini on that rim and just mm. tell you they are delicious. I could drink a whole lot of them. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Them, uh, what are they called? Ch coladas? Chiladas? I know I'm saying it wrong. Oh, geez. Yeah, you can't be playing soft anymore on these folks, y'all. You gotta, you gotta do something. You know what I'm talking about? It's got the uh, tomato juice and beer. A little lime in there. They're delicious. Oh, they're getting down there by the Well, maybe they'll get one on the board. You know? I mean... We've got fifty-two. They have zero. Where? What? What? What could they possibly do? Uh, Nash Jensen, y'all. Yeah, it plays with the Clar Carolina Panthers. Sandy likes the way he likes to come back and 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 see um, how his former teammates have grown, not just only as in the team, but as in men, becoming men, you know, being men. Oh, he didn't get it. Oh, it's four and one. It's four and one. Are they gonna get a field goal? Field goal. He says it's cold out there right now, y'all. I've been outside since a little earlier this morning. You're going for it. Going for what? Who's going for what? They could get nowhere. They got it. Well, he's stuck on the ground. He can't even get up for the Christ's sake. He's just talking about his journey uh, uh, being with the NFL and what it's like. And he says that he's having an amazing journey. Um, he's happy that he's able to be uh, blocking somebody when he's playing. And he's happy to be home to watch these guys. Get, get, ready, get ready for your four. We're going four for four. Get your thing. Get it. There you go. Yeah. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Get it up. Four for four, folks. We're going four for four. Woo, Bison. Four for four. Four for four. Four, four, four. We own it. Woo, Bison.
do your four for four. Say woo, Bison. Bison. Where are Patty? Those are your Patty. Yeah, your Patties. <laughs> Take a picture, take a picture, take a picture. Yes, getting all crazy. You like your paws. <sighs> uh, oops, I just burped in there. I feel like somebody had purchased this and it's been through all kinds of stuff and back. You can find those when you're cleaning the, um, because they don't take them with them. That's how they find them. They I know someone them. gave this one to us. Because they found Kimmy, it. Kimmy gave us this to us. Yeah, Kimmy gave us this to us. <laughs> it's commercial, y'all. And then we're back for the fourth quarter. Whoop. Ooh, that is. Ah, he's acting up. Tim's acting up. <laughs> We're having a good day. We're happy. We're happy. Yeah. Now ask him if you have a smoke. You can spare. You just better be happy you're winning. What do you think the end score is going to be? We're at 52, right? And they got one quarter left. Maybe yep. another touchdown. And then they're going to start running. They're going to start running it. Until their clock runs out. Man, I want them to get like 60-some points on the board. We used to remember the day when we used to get 60-some points on the board, 70-some points on the board. And the other team would be barely anything or nothing at all. Those were the days. Well, they're going to get something today. And on top of it, we were winning championship after championship after championship. I say maybe because we're wearing the jerseys today. Because we got the jerseys on today. I don't know, y'all. 63 or less. They won't do them bad. Six, that's what I want. 63. Here we go. Fourth quarter, baby. Let's roll. Let's rock it out. We're just going to be hugging each other. Let's go, let's go, let's go. They got the ball, but we need to intercept that. We got it back. We got it back? Good. Now it's our time. Just like, like. You know, maybe three more touchdowns. You know, nothing too bad. <clears throat> we need to do it. We need to do it. Well, you, Cat Miller is done, by the way. I know he's going to have number nine come in. Right? No, number 16. Number 16? That's what they were talking about today. When did college football, when did they start having three quarterbacks? Uh, somebody they was do. talking about that earlier today. Why do they got, they used to have two, one and then a backup. Now they got Both three. Start. Who did it? Third string quarterback. Flag on the field. It's on us, ain't it? Yep. Both. Number 65, he don't stop. He, he can't stand in one place. What? Oh. Number 65, he's right there. Somebody better plant them cleats firmly down and quit getting so froggy. 
Oh, go! Run! Shit! Go for it, sir! Caught, so he caught himself too. There goes another bison. Yes. Well, I don't know. Well, she already goes. You got your third string quarterback in. They call this garbage time, but this is crucial for the young guys to gain experience. Yes, sir. Them boys need this confidence boost. Hopefully, this guys. carries Here's into them. the latter half the season and propels them further into the postseason and playoffs. I agree. Yes, Snowdak. I, I agree. Why? What why? happened? What why? happened? Why? Why gonna play? Again. It's that old guy. It's that one right there. Him. Not him. That. Ah. Us. Oh, Participating he... without a helmet. Who? Fifty-eight was running around. Show me the play. I want to see where he was running around without a helmet. <laughs> They're saying 58 had unsportsmanlike conduct. He was running around without a helmet. I know he's showing off. Where so was he running around without a helmet? I didn't see it. Did you see it? Did you see it? No, I didn't even show it. I didn't see it. I didn't see no helmet on he nobody. Snap when he jumped on it. Unsportsmanlike conduct. I know. Whatever. Liar. I didn't get to see nobody running around out there with no helmet on. On either side. More movement. Another flag. Is it another flag? Oh, sides. What's he mad about? Number 90. Yeah, number 90. Five yard penalty for them, though, too. And he, and he said to me, he put his finger up. What if we got caught chewing that toenail? You know what? We're not chewing anybody's toenails. Would it be unsportsmanlike conduct? Yes, it would be. It would be unsportsmanlike conduct for your lips. For your lips. Kelly Watson. Right, number 30. What do you do? You made it all the way down. Made it all the way down. Yep. Yeah. Well, look at him go. Woo! Oh, look at that. Ooh. Look at him. Him is running. Told you that they're going to be running. Oh, don't turn that off. Y'all, we got to do this thing. I don't know what the hell I'm worried about. We already won. Go! Game. Go! Watch him go. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, ow. They all slid. They all slid. It wasn't just one. They were all sly. Let's go, Biden. Let's go. In 
The leather decks. Oh, okay. Okay, right there. Sorry, y'all. Had that all goofed up right there. Well, I know ordered. what just the doctor ordered was exactly this, but we already knew. Why did he do that? You see I, that? I don't know why. That's what I keep He handed screaming. the ball to him and ran right into the fucking. That's why I keep screaming about it all the time. Why do they do that? Out of all the other, there was many other ways to go. But no, we have to go right into the pile. Look, if I had, there was a line of mother heifers that were coming at me. The last thing I'm going to do is run straight into them. I'm going to try to figure a way around them. But I don't know. It's just what they do, right? So it's whatever. I just would, I wouldn't personally. Oh, you know what this is? This is a freshman that's quarterback. He's brand new. Oh, is he? We ain't getting on to the Yannis over here. No, no, no. Well, that's what Nodak was saying. We're giving the younger guys experience. They need that experience. I mean, because there's time to kill. Um, and there's points on the board. And there's no way that these guys can beat that score in, in this time. You hear that? They got their second string in. The younger guys? Yeah. And they got scouts out there today from the NFL. Besides so the old, the older players that were here. Another next. What are you going to do in eight minutes? You... They, they got a spot. No, I want to know. Are they quitters? Because no, they just got a timeout now. They're going to come back. Because there, okay. there are people where, you know, how we get like two minutes left on the clock or a minute left on the clock, and they're like, okay, I'm, I'm done. Maybe you go home early. Did they come here on bus or did they fly here? I didn't fly up you here. I have no idea how they got here. The bus picked them up. I would assume they, they went by bus, but they got school on Monday. So they probably flew. Don't we fly out when it's a long ways? Yeah, when first go when, and by then, by 1030, they should be coming in from Frisco. That well, like night. when we went to Maine, didn't we go to Maine or did Maine come here? I think we went to Maine and we beat them. Yeah. Or did Maine come here? Which one was it? I know that first game this year, wasn't it Maine? I think it was Maine. Was it Maine? Something out there. Some over on that coastal line we, we went against. I'm pretty sure it was Maine. Any Hootie, they flew out, I believe. Can you imagine driving clear cross country like that and try? Are we going to do that? Are we going to, you're going to get a mini winnie? You're going to travel with Yeah, them? if I had the money to get a mini winnie. Hell yeah, I'd get a freaking mini Winnie and go travel. Why the hell not I'd make a whole damn everyday YouTube thing of it? I, I would just for fun and be like, I don't know, RV life. We're back. Flag on the field. But who's on it? Whose is it? 
On us. Again? Why do we keep getting penalties? Oh, we turned it over too. Right? I would love to RV, man. I would love to. If I had the damn money, I sure would, boy. I would I would give up apartment living. I would I would uh if I had long hair, would you let me put my hair in a bun? <laughs> Grow your hair out and put your hair in a bun. Like, like just a fucking bun. But if we had the money, we would definitely, yeah, I definitely live the RV life. I'd give up renting because why bother rent when you have a home on wheels? And I would do just that. And I would make sure that it was weatherized for all four seasons. And I would make sure that the plumbing on it works. And it doesn't have to be brand new. It can be used. But I want to make sure that the water tanks work. Like a man bun. Do you want a man bun? Yeah. Yeah, he wants a man bun. He wants a man bun. But I would. Yeah, make sure the water tanks are working. Make sure the... Um, the wiring in there is okay. I've been looking to for used RVs because I think. And my man it, bun is working out. Because it's still a dream to do it. But the ones they have online for like a thousand dollars, and I'm looking through them and I'm thinking, wow, I don't know. I don't know. They're. I guess I, I I'm, I'm thinking. If I if I if I spend thousand two thousand dollars on an RV that's been used, I want it to kind of look all right. Some of these have where they have roofing problems or there's a wiring problem. Oh, and I don't want anything with wiring in it. Problems with wiring. I don't want it. I don't want to have to deal with it. Not right away. Like there was this couple that had an RV. They were, where were they? Was They were from Fargo. It was, wasn't not too long ago. It was the last couple of weeks. They were traveling. They sold their home, everything. And um, they, they were traveling on interstate. And the damn thing caught on fire. I feel it so bad for them because they said on the news that they lost everything because they sold their home and everything. The mess the best man bun is a honey bun. <laughs> I felt bad for them people because they were gonna live on the road for five years. Me, I just do it permanently. To hell with it. Had a Could you figure what you pay for rent? And most places require rental uh, insurance. Like we have to have, well, ours isn't very much, but because I've been with our insurance company for quite some time, but some people, they, they actually have to pay a lot. And there are places that people are renting for thousands of dollars. Like you're better off getting an RV. You're better off living in an RV or um, a motor home. I want a motor home. That way then I don't have to worry about a vehicle. I can just drive the damn home. Just get up, have my cup of coffee, wash my ass, and hop in the driver's seat, and shkoom, there I go down the road. <laughs> and Gary can toodaloo around in the RV, whatever he or the, the motorhome with whatever he needs to do. I'd be watching TV. Up drinking coffee and watching TV. Well, I head on to the next destination. Spend the winter months down south, come back up in the spring and spend spring, summer, and fall around here and head back down in the winter. Wash, rinse, and repeat. Wash the feet. That's the life. Time on the field. Honey bun. 
I ain't had a honey bun since I went to jail. <laughs> since I went to jail. Best way to have a honey bun. Warm that baby up in the microwave for a couple seconds. Nice hot cup of coffee. It's always good. Yeah, as long as my motorhome's freaking water tanks and waste tank are good to go, I, I'd stay in there forever. There was one I was interested in. It was about $1,800 in the bathroom. Didn't look bad. The only thing that deterred me from even thinking about doing it is it's coming to the winter months. And I haven't yet devised this, this total plan. And I thought, boy, I could... I could really buy that right now. And I really could actually put us in that right now. So the interior looked immaculate and fine. The sleeping arrangement, well, that would have been figured out. That would have been no problem. Oh, no one wants to go to Hawks are losing. The Hawks are losing? Yeah, to you and I. To you and I? That's because they grew a big head. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's what happens when you do that. Well, when we're done with this game, I'll go. You're going to you and I? No, the NDS, oh. or the ESPN? Yep. Yeah. Watch that game. Because they're losing. They're losing. Yeah, because we got ESPN. All you got to do. Oh, yeah. And then all you got to do is hook up that serious. That's Sir, uh, serious XM, whatever, uh, internet shit on your shit. Take it Ever hard. put butter on a toasted pop tart? Oh, yeah. Some with a warm honey bun, buttered up. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got another quarterback in. 12. We have four? Yep. Oh, yeah. And you know my favorite pop tart? I, I just like the chocolate ones or maybe a strawberry one or how about them toaster strudels oh I miss a toaster strudel hey we could make homemade toaster strudels that's really you guys just gonna get some puff pastry yeah, you won't be you putting it in the toaster, but it'd be kind of like a toaster strudel. What are you guys so fucking happy about you're going to lose again? You know what? It just shows you that even though they they may be losing the game, that they still have confidence in themselves. And, and we, that's a good thing to have. Yeah, are go they ahead. are they are they like a great team? Well, I don't know. I mean, no. But I think they're happy. No matter what. They're doing something. AJ Coons. Or yeah, or how about the brown sugar? The brown sugar pop tarts. I got some brown sugar. You know what? What? Listen here. We weren't talking about the brown sugar you're offering. Do you got a pop tart involved? Yep. You stop it. Big one. You know what? Look, they got a touchdown. Oh my God! Y'all just see that? They got a touchdown. Holy shit! Western Illinois just got their first touchdown of tonight. They're on Holy, the board. They're on the board. <laughs> now you need 10 of those. You ain't going to get 10 of those. Because that will give you seven. There's only six minutes left on the clock. Yeah, 626. Oh, my birthday. <laughs> Y'all should feel privileged. <laughs> what the fuck is that? 
52 to 7. You know what? AJ Goons. What do you think about that? Download live net TV and cast to a smart TV ESPN to ESPN News. Six fourteen. So you're Gemini. I'm Gemini. I was 626. <laughs> so we got June birthdays. Woo -woo. I was hatched, so we don't have a birthday. You were hatched? You were hatched on April 4th. No, I was not. Yes, you were, because we had your birthday party over here on the live on the April 4th. Yes, we did. And I made the damn your French dips. And we were on here, we were joking around, and, and there were people talking, all kinds of, you had people rolling and going. I know, because I smell like feet. And it wasn't because of cornflakes. Uh, okay. Fourth quarter, 52. Oh, no, they gained one, Terry. They gained seven. They, they got, they're on the board now. They got their seven. They got their seven. Well, we'll come there next week, next year. It says, a heartbeat thank you for an amazing season. Who? Peace to peace. They're coming back next year. Oh, yeah, they tried tearing the damn Tasty Freeze down here in the Moorhead area. Listen, Tasty Freeze has been there for how many years? Seventy. 70 years the city of moorhead wanted to tear it down and the owners fought for it man they were like no this is iconic we've been here for over 70 years suckers so, tried tearing down the damn tasty freeze so come I've only been there once but come shoot. enjoy our burgers our hot dogs and our ice cream well i didn't get to go this year not that we couldn't go we could have went i don't know why we didn't go to tasty freeze I think you loved it anyway. We had something that yeah, sat good. outside. I didn't mind Tasty Freeze. I, their onion rings were great. Their little burger was great. I, I didn't mind it. I like the old Tasty Freeze. Got rings on my underwear. You know what? What? Stop. Ah, I never seen them. Yeah, because you're talking about Goofy. Wait. See that? The final score. Jack Rabbits, 17 10. That's really sad, actually. They're pretty powerful, they're 17 points. Yeah. <laughs> they really they're proud of that. So you guys, the Jack Rabbits, if you want to know their final score, they're 17 and uh who was it? 10. Yeah. <sighs> but they, you know who they play next week? Huh? They play the Coyotes. The Jackrabbits play the Coyotes? They, oh, they, I they, can't they, wait to see that. Well, we can watch that. I'll find out what time the game is. I can't wait to see that. You better record that game or something or somehow because I want to see that because I want to see them each other because they, they think they're both hot shit because they beat the Bison, right? Yeah. So listen, but are they hot shit with each other? You know what I mean? Like, oh, shit, go, shit, run, run, run your twinkle toes down there. What are you doing? Everybody gave up. Ah, did you just see that? Okay. <laughs> Watch his play, y'all. Oh, he got he went out of bounds. Right? Oh, he didn't get it? No, nope, that's what they he didn't get it? Nope, he ran out of bounds. Why was he still running then? Well, they told him that he had he needed to stop because Oh, he didn't get it? Nope.
Well, Scudder here as he waits for the ball. He's scooping his way out of it. Five minutes. Two seconds left on the clock. <laughs> Twinkle Toes Magoo. You got a couple of them in this in this in this fish. Hey, y'all better go check out Papa John's has got Twix Papa Bites. I seen that the other day. You got these little little bread bites that are like Twix. They're caramel or caramel, however you want to say it. It's chocolate on there. You're gonna let me get a box from KFC. Go get it. Go get your KFC, babe. I just can't handle it because I went into the KFC bathroom and it was horrific. It was like yeah, that was in West Fargo. This is over here. Oh, you're going over to Moorhead to go get KFC? Yeah. They give uh -huh. you dried. They give you dried chicken, but okay. I'll go inside and get it myself. I'll order the damn shit. Oh, that's late hit. There you go. Flag on the play. You see that hit? See? I, you seen that hit. See, watch what he does. Well, why did you do that? He was already on the sideline. And, and, he, he, and then he couldn't understand what the problem was. Well, son, you did it. You, oh Lord, I'm no wonder y'all don't win nothing. It, it's because of this, because of that. Who, their coach needs to be rethunk. First of all, late hit right in front of the referee. <laughs> well, no shit. He thought he was doing something. Oh, he got. He got fucking pissed because he made hit. Okay, watch this. He also got he, there's a late hit. Oh, because he was mouthing. Oh, he was mouthing off to the referee. Yep, he mouthed off to the referee. And they kicked him out of the game. So are we, how did, could they say that he didn't say shit to the ref? I didn't hear shit. He's pissed. Now what? Are you feeling it's got hurt? Do you are was it offensive? Okay, so twenty-three from uh Twenty-three from Western Western Illinois. He's kicked permanently out of the game because he was targeting. Ninety-one jumped in. Now y'all see ninety-one. He wasn't in. No, he was. Uh, he said something to the ref, so he got booted out of the game. Sixty-three is trying to calm his ass down, saying, "Listen, did you say something? Did you say something?" He's like, "No, man, I didn't say shit. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about, right?" Whatever. So, anyways, ninety-one and twenty-three on um, both sides are are out. But now it's gonna. Now they're trying to chokehold our our guys. 
Yeah, oh, they helped him. Choke hold. They're trying to choke us. He tried to choke hold our player. Us. How well we know? It wasn't his fucking problem that he Hold got it. fucking whoa. Whoa. Who had the hold? Whatever. I guess he's got big balls today or some shit. His fucking sacks hanging to the ground, so he thinks he's such a big ass ref. You better wash it then. Well, he is. It's dragging on the turf, leaving a snail trail. Eck. Shit. Care? (laughs) Sorry for the sorry for the cussing. You'd be all right. It can't get monetized anyway, so don't worry about it. Go to the letter next are cheating and the referee are. Yeah, the ref is because we didn't do shit. Oh, he's got his his damn nut sacks hanging straight to the damn to the damn turf. Just, just dragging around. I hope he reads. You know what? I hope you're the damn ref that well, I hope you watch this because you ain't got a big sack. You think you got some some cowbells going on. Well, I tell you what, you got a freaking you got a freaking little uh dry up raisinette yeah yeah he got raisinettes that's what he's got a raisinette he ain't got two raisinettes he lost that he got one raisinette <clears throat> shit with half a damn little smoky to even contribute to anything his nuts are no more than bigger than a raisinette and his dinky do is no damn better then a little bit of a little bit of a, a little smoky. That's it. That's all he's got. He's out here acting like he's got a freaking anaconda. He ain't got nothing. He ain't got nothing. Shit. Ref thinking he's got some shit. He thinks he's got some damn balls and he ain't got none. Shit, my chesticles are bigger than your testicles, boy. have me going try to try to do that to our guys see i was feeling good i was i had a buzz going on and everything now i'm slap out of it oh you're okay matter in hell right now say a bunch of crazy shit son of a whatever anyways let's go let's carry on do something what are you doing? And are you gonna fall in there? It's gonna be flag on the field or what? What we did something, huh? Huh? He was trying to look for his nut sack. Leave him alone. Well, <laughs> well, first off, he's only carrying a fucking raisinette. One raisinette. I want to know his name because I'm gonna send him a raisinette in the mail with a with a half a fucking little smoky. Ick. And I'm gonna tell him this represents you and your freaking package. Cause you thought you had something going on at the end of the game and you didn't. Then I'm gonna send him a picture of my damn coconuts. Ha! Before they're husked. Huh? There. So you what? <laughs> now I can get so vulgar. I'm sorry. I can get so mad. I can just hit it right straight to the core. I just know how to take them low blows. I don't have a problem with running my running my gator saying, hey, that's what I think. Holy shit. 
There you go. We got our rankings back. We got our rankings back? Well, if UND loses. If UND loses? They're losing right then now. Then we get our rankings? Well, then we better start. Then UND better start. Well, I thought they had Twinkle Toes Magoo running around like the damn goofball. Uh, 17 nothing now, so. Y'all, I'm just talking smack about that ref. He done, he done pissed me off. He's happy. He won't. They won. Oh, there you go, Mr. 90. There you go, Miss Ginger. Still on a second string. They won, help win the game. It was older brother Luke. Everyone, 52 to 7 victory. Go by it. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Well, that's the end of it, y'all. We whooped that ass. We whooped that damn trick. Peach, we whooped it. We whooped that trick. Get a whoop that trick. Yeah, we did. So, anyways, I want to thank y'all. Thank you for joining my crazy ass tonight on the Bison football game. Uh, I really do appreciate you guys. Every one of y'all, everyone in the back, everyone that's been in the comment section, Mr. Terry, Nodak, SRQ, um, Ron, Red, Donna. Uh, let me see. Am I missing anybody? VWO. I want to make sure, and if I missed anybody, I apologize. I don't think I did because it let me scroll all the way through from the beginning. So anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for being here. Oh, yeah, most definitely, Nodak. I appreciate you allowing you us into your home again. I, dude, I would love for everyone to come, like, personally in here and us get together and watch this. That I would, Wouldn't that be so cool? I'd love to be able to do that. Um, but I, I love being able just to even be here virtually with you guys. It, it really means a lot to, to build a community, build a family, build friendships, get to know one another. Gary and I put ourselves out here on the internet, um, and just share our life with you. And it's because we just want to build a community, build friendship, build, you know, a place where everybody can be, uh, so anyway, safe travels back to Western Illinois. Leathernecks, I hope you guys have safe travels back. If anybody was watching from their side, thank you. We appreciate you. You guys take care. I'm going to sign off now. Okay. We will be live again uh, next week, Saturday at 2.15. Um, just to go over the rules of how i conduct the live as far as that goes uh kickoff will be at 2 30. so we definitely will be here next saturday and so i look forward to spending again another saturday with you guys and as always we upload through the week periodically different stuff too so feel free to watch the content as well Thank you, Nodak, so much. And we I really think the same about you. I really do appreciate you've been here. And we really do appreciate you. Terry, you've been here. Ron, you've been here. SRQ, you've been here. We really appreciate you guys. We really do. It means the world to us. It really does. I'm going to let y'all go. Have a wonderful rest of your Saturday evening. Go Bison. We did this. And let's uh let's kick ass next Saturday. <laughs> and we'll just go from there. I'm a little nervous for the November 4th deal, but uh they they did not win with a big score like we did today. Um so the Jack Rabbits only had 17 on the board. And then the opposing team had 10, so on them. <laughs> That's what I think. So we're going to flip it over, I guess. Gary's going to see what UND is doing. And and we'll see. Oh, he yeah. Y'all want here. Let's see. That's the player of the game. 
TK Marshall. TK Marshall. Congratulations, TK Marshall, on all three of your touchdowns through this game. Holy shit, he was really running, wasn't he, guys? All right, I'll see you next Saturday. I'm not going to hold you any longer. Uh, catch us in the next one. Catch us in our next uploads. If you like the content, like, comment, subscribe. It's free. We don't get paid. We just do this to hang out with y'all. All right, see you next Saturday. Bye, y'all. Got anything you want to add? No, we're... no, he's running to the bathroom. Okay, bye, y'all.